Hi everybody and welcome to Saturday afternoon. Yeah. It is about five something. It's been a, yeah, just gone past five o'clock. It's been a busy day today, hasn't it? It's been a busy, busier yeah. for, for you or me, would you say? You. She said it, see, busier for you. me. I've been up since quarter to five this morning. I uh, went out car booting. Mm -hmm. My Fitbit is telling me I've done 17,000 steps. If you want a comparison, my Fitbit tells me I've done 5,000. She's done 5,000. 5,500. 17,000 steps. You know? I'm just but saying. you've been busier. I've been busy today. Um, <laughs> now, now, despite despite getting up at quarter to five in the morning, um, I wanted to kind of share this because sometimes like you can do haul videos of car boots and things and it can seem like wow you're getting amazing stuff. Let me show you what walking around the car boot, doing about 10,000 steps at the car boot, waking up at quarter to five, getting there early uh, just after probably about quarter past five and then walking around it until near on 8.30 nearly nine o'clock. Let me show you what that actually uh, got me um, and it wasn't a great deal and here is the haul so this is what 10,000 steps and waking up at 4.45 in the morning got me today not a great deal um, I got these two Dungeons and Dragons uh, starter sets paid in total 14 pounds for these two sets um, should expect to do okay on this Beck has that, um, checked through them and completed them as best we can they're both basically complete apart from this one is missing a, a certain sided die. I think it's a six sided die. Other than that, they're both actually complete. Um, we should get a good return on our 14 pounds. Um, that should get about 50 to 60 pounds. This one, we're going to try 25 to 30. So we'll see how it goes, but it was okay. Um, then I paid two pounds for this Wallace and Gromit Playhouse. Um, two pounds should get me 15 pounds plus shipping. So again, not huge, but still something. And finally, this is probably one of the better pickups, five pounds for this, and it's a Panasonic DV camcorder, tested, works, comes with the charger, should get around 80 odd pounds for that. But not really a great return for the amount of work. And I just wanted to share that because it shows that you will have those days, no matter how hard you work, no matter how early you wake up, no matter how much cash you take with you, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can be there and there not be a great deal uh, to pick up. Now, someone else will have gone to the same car boot today and probably be like over the moon with the stuff they've picked up. And that is just life. That is what happens. Um, you just have to get on with it. It's now Sunday, uh, Sunday morning and it's 10.20 a.m. And I've already done 15,700 steps at the car boot. It's, it's been an astonishing car boot. It, I was there at about 5 a.m. doing lots of steps, walking around, lots of laps. And I was finding, an, I found a few little bits, but it wasn't looking amazing. It was going to be a, just a good car boot. And then I hit this stall um, and it was just like the heavenly stall. It, it, they had everything that you could want um, and they just bought it out in bags and sold it at really great prices. So I'll share with you guys what I picked up in a bit. Right guys, it's now about midday. We're about to open the shop. Actually, Rebecca's gonna take her opening the shop so I can quickly whiz through the stuff I bought. It didn't start off looking like a particularly promising day out at the car boot. And as you guys would have already seen it earlier on in the video, I didn't have a very successful day at all yesterday when you think about how much time, you know, four hours odd, uh, doing about 15,000 steps of a car boot. No, it was about 10,000 steps, wasn't it, at the car boot. And today was a similar story. I think I've already done 16,000 steps today. Most of that again at the car boot. But today, even though it started off slowly, we finished um, the car boot with a haul that is uh, pretty friggin' amazing. So let me just quickly whiz through and show you what I got. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys out there will appreciate how um, lucky, I suppose, if that's the word I am, to have picked this stuff up. Um, although obviously I like to think I did make some of my own luck in a small way, but I'm not sure how much, but that's a discussion for another day. Let's get to the haul. My very first pickup of the day was this Escalado and it was a bargain at two pounds. 
I didn't get a chance to fully look at it because it was like a five in the morning and I just wanted to kind of get it and move on. Um, but I think it has got its like lead or metal horses. It looks in good condition. There's no legs broken. So I'm assuming that's going to be complete. Um, but for two pounds to get a vintage Escalado is a great price. I, they, these can vary, especially when it comes up to kind of Christmas time. They can go for a lot more. But I would expect at least 30 for that, looking at some quick prices. So that was my first pickup of the day. The car boot then went a little bit quiet for me and I wasn't finding a great deal. Um, and even this isn't the, the best pickup, but it was an important pickup. Beck and I were just yesterday talking about the need to get a laser printer in the shop because sometimes we need to print out invoices, etc., for our tax records. And it's really frustrating to have to go home and print out invoices from wholesalers and whatnot. So we found um, a laser printer just like the one we've got at home and it was only five pounds so really pleased with that pickup although at this point i wasn't exactly feeling great for all my effort but as you can see there there's better to come the next item i picked up was this die cast uh, plane at this point i was looking for some deals and it was a bit of a struggle to come by them uh, but i was kind of like okay let's just kind of go for it it looks like it's a really nice item they had it priced up at £22, I in the end got this for £18 and this is when I suppose my luck started to turn a little bit and it turns out that this is actually quite a desirable collection of die cast models made by Franklin Mint. Um, these can vary in price but at the very least my £18 should sell into £50, £60. Some of these can go into the 100 so that would be amazing. Moving on, the next pickup of the day was this Microsoft USB gamepad. Uh, it's just a gamepad, but it's Microsoft branded. Um, cost me, I think, about £3 and maybe will get me 15 odd pounds back. So not anything mind blowing, assuming obviously all the buttons are working, but these are pretty solid, especially the USB versions. Weirdly after that I picked up yet another joystick. Um, this one was £4 again USB. This is a Cytec uh, joystick. It's more of a flight stick and this should fetch me around £30 resale on eBay. So from £4 not too bad. This is when my luck really really started to turn. Uh, this was my first like awesome pickup of the day. Um, I saw this on the floor, literally it must have only just been put out because uh, one of my other regular car booters who also likes to pick up radio control was really close behind me. In fact, I didn't realise he was right behind me and asking me what I'd gotten as I was paying for it. Um, so I was very lucky to have gotten this. And the guy was asking 50, I asked if he'd take 40, he said 45 and the deal was done in a blink of an eye. Um, even at 50, to be honest, I think it would have been fine. The reason is these body shells alone, I should explain what this is, it's not a bit of plastic. These two are body shells for a radio control car and they are Lexan body shells made by Kyosho, so they will have good value. You should be able to get about 20 odd pound at least for each of those, but obviously here we have the uh, the main bulk of that £45 purchase. It is a 10th scale Nitro Kyosho, very dusty, but very importantly, completely unused. This engine has not even been started even once. It is immaculate, just very dusty. You can see the tyres have got in, like, perfect tread. The chassis does not have any scrapes, marks of any kind. Um, it is it is a mint, mint, mint condition example of a 10th scale Nitro RC car. Um, and in this condition, I don't know, at least 150, probably more. Um, that's if it ends up being sold. <laughs> I spent £90 at one stall and got the majority of stuff that you can see on the table. It was one of those situations where I was walking past and I overheard a couple um, who were stood by their boot with what looked like a Lexmark printer box but they looked inside it and that their reaction was oh gosh we've got to get at least 50 for that that's what they said and just as they brought the box to the ground I caught a glimpse of that box logo I was like how much expecting them to say 50 and the guy for some reason just said 30 and and the missus was looking at him like oh, okay 30 then fine that's that's still fine um and I was obviously very happy to pay 30 quid for a boxed Dreamcast, boxed controller, 
and a box uh, box visual memory unit and a stack of games as well and miraculously these games the cases the dreamcast cases are known and i remember them very very personally um because these games were expensive at the time i was buying them back in the day these cases were awful they would crack and break apart especially at the hinges every single one of these cases is mint which is just shocking um the console is used the controllers are used everything's used but it's in very good condition there's like no yellowing it's just excellent all the inserts are there um the user manual is there for the controller as well um, and all these games are disc and manual so i'll quickly run you through the games there's sega gt which probably isn't worth more than 10 to 15 pounds i'd guess tony hawk skateboarding maybe about a 20 odd pound game this is about a 15 pound game slave zero again you can see the condition it's fantastic worms armageddon i'm not sure how much that's worth um, I forgot the price, I did check it. This one is a little bit special, this is 18 wheeler, I should be able to get about 30, 35 pounds, maybe more. Uh, so that's a nice one. Uh, then we've got some Dream On discs, uh, like, you know, like demo discs that would have come with the magazine. I'm not sure on the value of those, um, probably not much. And the same with the Dream Key, not much value. Wild Metal, maybe 15 pounds, but again, it's there. Trick Style, oh, okay, I lie, there's a crack, there's a crack. I lied, I thought there was no cracks. Uh, Trick Style, not a super valuable game anyway. Sega Rally, sold in abundance, and again, probably only a 10 or 15 pound game, I guess. Uh, Choo Choo Rocket, this is only worth like a fiver, if you can be bothered to sell it, it's more of an online game. And finally, Shenmue, which I was surprised, seems to have dropped in value. Um, I'm not gonna be selling it for like 25 odd quid, like I've seen, it's worth more than that, um, if, if, if alone just to me, because I paid, I remember buying this game and um, not going to university to play it, which in hindsight was not the smartest move, but there we go. Now, as if at this point my adrenaline wasn't pumping enough, the guy then bought out another carrier bag which had this Game Boy case, just the case, which has got quite a bit of yellowing, and also this huge stack of Game Boy games. Um, I've tried to complete as many as I can. Some of them are complete, some aren't. Thankfully, some of the more va valuable ones are complete. So I've got a complete Wario Land with box insert and user manual. Now this is exciting, a, a box to Kirby's Dream Land, um, again with user manual. I think that could fetch a good amount of money, uh, about maybe 30-ish, I don't know, maybe more. And Donkey Kong Island 2 has fetched about 30 before. It's not the best condition box, but again, box with manual. Um, we've also got something less valuable, Choplifter 2, we've got Dino Blaster that doesn't have its inserts, Super Mario Land doesn't have its insert. no actually I took an insert but the box is a bit crushed, I don't actually have Worms which is a shame, it's empty, then we've got this Race um, Days game, um, again it just needs an insert there, um, Alfred Chicken needs an insert as well. The, the cartridge and the manual are there and then we've got a stack of cartridge games here we have got something called like rescue blob or something we have got a fake 42 in one like a pirated cartridge thing um island something island monroe island, i don't know about that game joe and mac don't know about that game either but mega man uh, definitely worth looking out for that's going to have some value super mario land 2 that will have some value Desert Strike, can't imagine that being a great deal. Uh, Home Alone 2, again, maybe £8, £10. Uh, Tetris, maybe about 5 to 7 who knows. Game Genie as well, that was for, that's like worth about £15, I think. Motocross, I don't know how much that's worth, but probably not a great deal, but it does have its box, but there's no insert. Um, and uh, finally, we have got a game called Gargoyles, which is in the same scenario so got all those games and again asked him how much he wanted and he did the lot for 25 quid so the case all these games 25 quid from the same guy that i got the dreamcast bundle there uh for 30 so really really buzzing and as if i wasn't about to like explode literally with just shock and excitement he then said this wouldn't be of any interest to you <laughs> no with a big smirk on his face because he kind of knew it would be at that point um because it was kind of like take my money um tamia cosworth kit from 1992 um 
comes with its uh it comes with a radio gear comes with a battery charger it has not been built to very good standard uh, there's a lot of stick appealing just generally the shell has not been built to a great standard although there's no damage to the shell that i can see um but he sold me this at uh, just the box condition and everything is so nice 35 pounds um so that made the 19 total absolutely thrilled uh, to get a tamiya and a kyosho at one car boot and a game boy bundle and a dreamcast bundle it's just mind bending um this kit does have some value when it's nicely built especially the shell a lot of the value with these kits is not necessarily in the car itself because you can get those chassis a lot more readily it's the body shells it's how well they've been painted how well the stickers the decals have been applied how good condition the tires are in and unfortunately the tires on this are not in the greatest condition let me just show you so like i said a lot of the value is actually in the body shell and luckily there's no massive damage that i can see to it um it's even got the wing on it but the decals are just peeling off i'm not even sure if the safety <laughs> plastic was removed maybe that's why this is all peeling off i don't know but it looks like they might have left the safety plastic on or something i don't know they might not have done but that's some pretty bad bad peeling on the decals the car itself is absolutely fine now the wheels can have some good value as well but again they've got some of them have got flat spots so that does affect the value but it's still a nice vintage car and still a bargain for 35 quid and the reason i'll let you know why it's such a bargain is recently and luckily this is something that they didn't attempt to do this this setup here now this is meant to be the inside cabin so you would have to cut that out paint it do same with the driver's heads build them paint them and then install them this set here has recently at auction fetched 32 pounds just for that set there so that alone shows you the value in some of this i mean the fact that this shell even though it's in awful condition has the actual rear fin on it that will have some value to it and the car itself obviously will have some value but for 35 quid absolute bargain and um finally the last pickup of the day was this camcorder um i paid they wanted 15 i ended up paying 10. now i don't normally buy these camcorders and the simple reason is this is a, a sony dvd camcorder and these just aren't quite as popular as the mini dv camcorders um they record in these little small dvd discs um but i went for it because a the condition is very good but also b it's got its power supply which i can then use to test some of my other sony camcorders uh, because they use like a proprietary connection so for a tenner there should still be value in it you should still be able to get 40 50 quid for that um considering it's got the box and everything so uh well worth picking up there you have it i went through that as quickly as i could absolutely a uh, gobsmacking haul really um i did also pick up some lps but those are for myself um i don't know there's a bob marley and the whalers and some other bits some retro lps um i don't know where i've put them now but that was the stuff that i was really that was the stuff i was really excited to share with you guys so i can't believe it so after yesterday which was so mediocre for the amount of effort still good i mean it's still good in terms of there's still a lot of return on the investment on the stuff i bought but today really is just up there i mean i've had such a good run recently um but part of that i do put down to making your own luck and part of that is just plain luck um so you've got to accept that there is just plain luck involved and part of it is just putting yourself in those situations again and again and again even when it seems hopeless and sometimes you can come away with something i could have easily come away with none of this stuff i've got to bear that in mind just like yesterday i worked so hard just as hard as i did today came away with barely anything like three or four items today um it seemed like it was going to be the same and then in the last moments it kind of redeemed itself those pickups happened very quickly so um just something to bear in mind really something to think about um i hope you guys enjoyed the haul uh, a lot of this stuff some of this stuff is actually now going to be on our website as well because we're starting to sell retro stuff on our website and even in the shop we're going to display some of it um the, the, the more displayable games and things like that uh because you know we have like i said in the last week sold an n64 in the shop so why not sell a dreamcast in the shop as well so it will also be on our website to buy um as well as the usual ebay and everything so um we're gonna 
we're going to display this stuff in as many uh, platforms as, as we can. So that's going to be the plan. Anyway, now it's time for me to uh, work in the shop till three o'clock and during that time hopefully start putting some of this away, getting it ready for listing, etc. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.